Hey everybody, welcome back. We're playing some Super Auto Pets. I recorded five turns of a horrible run that I'm happy to abandon um, with my microphone muted. Now there is some irony. The irony is, well, maybe it's not irony. Maybe it's actually just fitting. Um, be flying fish, it's perfect. I was edible soup last time, which was nice as well, but you, you win some, you lose some. I got food on the brain because uh, I'm in the midst of preparing for my colonoscopy. Don't worry. I haven't gotten to the worst part, as people tell me, which is drinking a truly staggering amount of uh, laxative and then sitting on the toilet for eight hours. Um, but I, I am at the fasting portion of it, which is going to last for like another, I don't know, close to 24 hours. But I'm not saying like, oh, you should pity me. I, what I'm saying is I might not be at peak mental fuel levels. Uh, which is scary to think, but yes, in, in the average Super Auto Pets run, you're seeing me at my best. <laughs> it's a horrifying thought, but it's true. I will also say, I went to the pharmacy to get the laxative the doctor told me to buy. It's not a graphic story, okay, relax. I found a little bottle like this, and I thought, this doesn't look right. I was happy, I was, everyone was like, it sucks to drink the liquid, and I'm like, this, I could drink this. I wanted to be sure, though, so I took it up to the pharmacist, and I said, hey, my doctor told me that I need to get this for colonoscopy prep. Is this the right thing? And then she said no, and she pulled out, like, a gallon barrel of powder and was like, this is what you want. And I was like, you know what? I'm, don't get me wrong. I'm glad I asked, at the very least, but still... I, had, I did the cartoon gulp. You can see my Adam's apple go. Anyway, I don't really like any of these animals that much, but I, I, could, I could go for a dodo. The problem is that what is a dodo hit here? We don't have any tanky units. Let's buff it anyway. Um, just we need something. I'm not going to pill an ant right now. Like We don't really have like a koala yak situation, but honestly, maybe we can get a koala going and get a yak later. Like, this team cannot win right now. <laughs> it's, it's really bad. Like, it's, it's kind of unbelievably bad. I don't know. I don't, I'd rather give the attack to... I don't know. I don't know who to give the attack to. That's the principal problem right now. I was hoping maybe that... Like, I almost thought about running Dodo at the front just because the Dodo's by far our best unit, but then I was like, no, that seems pretty stupid. Anyway, we somehow made it here. Holy cow, a hit koala. We should go for it, like... I still think this is pretty terrible. And this is so funny looking to have like an ant here, but... The first principles in my brain are telling me like this is the way that this makes the most sense right now. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a couple of kills. Maybe we'll get unlucky and play it. It's, it's, you know what? I got what they need and they got what I need. It's a, it's a sad story we're living. They are going to beat me, unless they got like a 1-1 one -one there somehow. But they're... If we could just combine our teams, we'd be unstoppable. You got to do Dragonfly. Like, it, you actually have to, to have any chance. You got to go. We would like our Dodo to get the most buffed. We'll take a Dragonfly here. Do we want Koala or Ant to get buffed? I think it literally does not matter um, at all. Let's give the dragonfly a reason to stick around. I think we now realize we want the ant to get buffed because it's most likely to level. This is going to be rough. <laughs> For no, you know what? I, you know, no, no, this makes sense. Not really from the perspective. Well, I guess you know what we could do. We could have the koala sh work by getting our. Woodpecker to shoot something? This is horrible. Yeah, this is not... We have no logical direction to take this run right now. But we have a level 2 Dodo. <laughs> but now you're getting the buff. But that's good. It's good that you're getting the buff. But who do you pass the stats on to? Now I'm like, okay, the Dragonfly is getting the buff. Who, who gets the other... It, it, I need you to be here, but they're passing it on to you. But then, okay, so the, the woodpecker shoots the ant, which gives a 2-2 two -two buff, so it's only losing 1 HP. It gets a 2-2 two -two from the koala. It still seems horrible. 
don't get me wrong, it still seems like it has essentially no purpose. Um, and we have this level two dodo that is giving stats to something, like our, our best unit to receive them, but also receive the buff on the proper units is a, a four four, which is nonsensical. Um, and yet, here we are, something's happening. We'd love a level three ant just to get more buffs. We'd love more dragonflies. This is insane, but we have to buff the koala so that it's a reasonable, you gotta go and you gotta come in here. So that it's a reasonable um, dodo receiver. I still don't think we're going anywhere, really. But I did have a zero run that I recorded like yesterday. So to be at um, two wins honestly doesn't feel that bad. <laughs> I think we encountered someone with the same problem. They got a dodo, but they don't have like anything for the dodo to play with. Okay, maybe this is just mediocre. Maybe it's not the worst run I've ever seen. Maybe it's merely really, really bad. We really don't need a level 3 koala. Like, can is something, but I'm scared. Okay, with, it, with nothing else. To, if there's nothing left to burn, you have to set yourself on fire. So we buy a can. Does that make sense in this situation? No, not at all. Does this team make sense? Many people are asking this. You got, you got 17 HP, huh? You got 21 HP? Holy cow, the math worked out perfectly. This team should not have four wins. I'm now embarrassed for my opponents. I'm merely buying as much food as you have to offer. We need this. Do we need a Lynx or do we... Do, to be honest with you, I love what the Lynx is doing for us. How much damage are you doing? One? No, okay, hold on. You're doing eight. Eight damage. This is important, too. Would I rather lose an ant? Like, I feel like an ant... I could at least wait for a pill for an ant. I think, I think we gotta focus and try to scale. And the positioning is right here. And I think now, actually, a green pepper is more valuable. And I think I would love a green pepper on our dodo as well. Like, I think we're, we're getting, hopefully, enough scaling from our dragonflies, especially if we can get another one and get to level two. But then at level two, it's gonna start buffing itself, so I don't know. Now here, I'll, I'll admit, there's a chance we could have killed the, the, the shark with our lynx, I think. And now that, that dream is gone for me. This team... Look, I mean, we would have drawn if we killed the shark, which was one in five, so I'm not sweating it too much. Receive a buff. Receive a buff. Roll once. Four, two, two, one. I mean, it is scaling. It's... You, but you lose this, the 1-1 one, one scaling on you and you. I would freeze and just take a dodo for now. I'm, by the way, if we die right here, I'm going to be like 0% mad. <laughs> I think this team did way better than it ever should have stood a chance to do. So I'm actually like... I mean, I, I kind of felt like we were working on borrowed time. And every subsequent victory is actually like... Every, every subsequent draw is bringing me closer to feeling like this has been a miracle to begin with. I actually feel like maybe we hope for some good scaling foods. We wanted it to hit the koala, that's very nice. I think dragonfly level two is, is good, but we have to now reposition, because we still want Dodo to get the buff, I think, so we move cat to the back, the cat's gonna get the buff, no matter what, and then we need to move dragonfly here, I'm okay with that. We still want... Yeah, Dodo still gets the buff. I mean, I, again, it's not like this team now looks amazing. But it certainly looks better than it did on round five when we were like, we have no shot. Holy cow. I believe in miracles. Now, you gotta go. And, and honestly, you need to immediately be replaced with the T-Rex, <laughs> and then just, I'm, I'm slapping my troubles away, I'm scaling my troubles away, take some of this, honestly, you probably want to take one of those too, holy cow, and holy, but what, do we, I, I can't really sell anything to Fitch, honestly, to begin with, 
And we I remember we have to save our money. Okay. Even like cat T Rex are kind of cannibalistic, but whatever. If we live, we got a melon that dragonfly. I don't want to get my hopes up, but I'm like, are we living? Are we living through? Are we at six wins? Did we make it to respectability? Did we did we scale our troubles away? You should take this. I actually think. No, take this as well, because you're getting two two per turn. I think that that melon armor will make all the difference. Obviously, I do want a level two T Rex, but the food is the, like especially a green pepper and or a well or a melon. I guess the end doesn't really make sense there. They they matter more. Okay, the snipes were insane, but we still got some equipment. We still got some equipment. We lived, and now I'm like, who says we can't get to 10? <laughs> who says you can't get to 10 with the worst team of all time? Earlier. You gotta stop there. That's fine. We're looking for chocolate for our T-Rex predominantly. We're not even buying any foods. The cat just exists as a, as a body right now, but that's gonna be... It's going to be a strong... You're not that strong? You're not that strong? We lost, like, all of our equipment, which sucks really bad. Dude, I think we win this one. How is it... We're actually scaling our troubles away, like Vince from Slap Chop. We don't even want to buy you yet. There's so much more valuable stuff. You're, like, a last-ditch effort. We still got a cat. I think that's worth something. And then now I realize we can't really fish for chocolate, so let's just get some, some super scaling coming out here. I mean, just buying the sushi is like an extra dragonfly buff per round, so there's like some support there. I'm not mad. A strong unit. No, no disagreement there. Holy cow, man. This dog is not that strong! <laughs> I can't believe it. While we're here, look, you're already passing on like so much more attack than you need to. If anything, you should actually... Nah, passing it to a unit with a, with a green pepper is good. I don't want to give it to you. This is fine. This is fine. We should maybe buff like you. Chocolate. Oh, another T-Rex is chocolate. Now, we've had a lot of runs that almost made it to 10 and then died on 9. This would be such a miracle. This, I got to admit, the snipers are like my least favorite thing to see right now, for sure. Can I also tell you my opponent's... Green pepper versus... They, they got me. It happened again. And you know what it was? Green peppers over melons, man. I'm not mad because I, I was happy with two. You can go back in the VOD and, and... Well, go back in the video and see. These are all faint triggers. That's what I like to see. Let me be a delicious... Let me be a helpless slacker. How about that? Dude, okay, that was... I'm invigorated. Even though we didn't get to 10. You could focus on that or you could focus on the fact that we... Probably shouldn't have been alive that long in the first place. And you can also see how, like, dude, scaling. I honestly, I want to save you and then roll for a frilled dragon. I would save you. Uh, this is a miracle roll. Obviously, it didn't work, okay? But I think the risk reward of getting a frilled dragon there makes that worthwhile, even if we lose this round as a result. That's the thing, man. You never know, like, it, when when the bet is over, you know that you should or should not have done it. By the way, we made it work anyway. But in, adva in, in advance, you have limited information. I think we did what we could with our limited information. I'm still looking for a frilled dragon, by the way. Holy cow, I think this is... I think this is fantastic. And I'm going to... Keep a... Croissant around. I would love to scale. I'm also going to work on leveling this cricket. It could make a bison work. Uh, and if it doesn't make a bison work, it could make a dragonfly work better. There's a lot to like there. This team's got... It's like the opposite of our last team. It has an agenda. It put my tender heart in a blender, and still I surrender to you. And if that bothers you, then, then that's your cross to bear, okay? For now, you're more likely to stick around than the cricket, but we're keeping the cricket around just in case. I'm going to freeze you. I do, the, the thing is, I don't know. I don't know what the ox is going to do. I don't know what the kangaroo is going to do. But what I do know is we have two units close to level three, and I am respecting them right now. I also know that I'm playing against the same opponent, and I'm not mad. 
In fact, I'm, I think I'm like happier than I was last round somehow. Or maybe equivalently happy, but that's fine. I would love to see the units that I would love to see, though. In case that's not self-evident. I think you can run this. I think you can put you there. No, sorry, you there. And you here. So this is a team that right now just consists of good stuff. Now, if you've ever played Magic the Gathering, you know that good stuff, it can work for you. The thing is... Everybody gets sucked into, you know, what synergy is the best, yada yada. Oh, you don't have enough thopters in your deck to make this strat work. We are going to lose to this team, though. <laughs> but that's why Magic's a best of three. We just got mana screwed. It's time to, it's time to get the units we actually need. Now, I, I still don't think you're the one. You had your chance and you blew it. I would add you for now. I think we're scaling nicely. And I think tier four <clears throat> is going to be a big one for us. Could we? Because we could possibly get a triple value dragonfly. A lot of people are saying I overrate the dragonfly. You may be correct. That's a strong level two unit. That's, I, I put a lot of respect on you for. There's no way we're taking you out. Holy cow! Not that far off, but not as close as I'd like to be. Um, but I, I really think that if if the dragonfly works. It works really well. Like, so that's going to spit out a tier 5, which we don't care for at all. We're going to buff the ant because it's our strongest unit. And now we're one away from being on lethal. But I'm telling you, a triplicate... Dra Hold on. We can wipe this team. Appropriate melon armor. Rest of the squad is just based around scaling. He's a one yak Marty. See ya. Cool team. Would be a shame if uh, anything at all happened to it. Okay. Ox goes. Bison stays as an incredible scaler that will make our kangaroo better over time. Yes, it makes sense. Just think about it. It makes sense. Can, always tempting. Dragonfly, more important. Are we scaling a turtle or are we scaling a kangaroo? I think right now... We're scaling, or a bison. I guess you could just scale a bison. In that case, I think you sell the kangaroo. Not to scale the turtle, but because melon armor is disproportionately valuable at this stage of the game. You go here, buff, buff, buff. Take a buff, because we'll, we'll give you some equipment later that'll hopefully justify this. 3x dragonfly, if we could add, if we could make it level 2, it would, it would screw it up ever so slightly, but I'm, I'm not worried about it all that much, to be honest with you. Hold on, hold on. Cricket at the back, probably made no difference, but appears to have made a difference, which means he's sticking around. Now, here's the deal. We don't want a level 3 cricket. Not worth it. What we do want is a green pepper. We know that if we make it to the late game, that thing's going to scale like a son of a gun. To be honest with you, you're getting scaled by the dragonfly. I think you should take a green pepper as well. It might be a little early for that pivot. I'm okay with it. And at some point, we're going to want to get rid of you and green pepper this ant. But I don't think it's right now. Two dragonflies. Hmm. Would you sell a turtle to get a second dragonfly out there? I'd think about it. I'd, I'd think that perhaps it depends on our uh, on our performance here. And it's a sad story when you run into uh, a frilled dragon build that's like past its best before date. You know, you know that team was kicking, you know what, and taking names back in the early game, but now it's fallen off a little bit. Well, that's just non-negotiable. <laughs> um, we know we're going to get a green pepper in here you're scaling we could get rid of you and then you would scale yourself but you already have a green pepper you're basically just a stat repository so I think you got to get out of here green pepper on you okay so we're selling it's going to screw up the T-Rex for this round we should have waited one round but you know what it's okay we don't want the T-Rex to scale so it needs to be the, to the right of the buffalo we're okay with this 
I'm not selling anything to enable it. it. It does suck, but you know what? It gives us the chance to do some super rolls here. Let's just call them super rolls as if that helps us. Yeah, we don't want to scale the T-Rex. Because the Cricket actually has a better ability than the T-Rex in battle. I know it sounds like a, an insane statement, but just think about it. It's true. Now, we can't win this one. We... We're actually... Whoa, we can draw! I forgot the Cricket's ability as I was discussing it. That's an insane play, and I'm thrilled. No matter what, you're going to want one of these. The green pepper is its just going to be helpful. And then, honestly, at this stage of my life, I think we're just statting up. The T-Rex the and the dragonfly should help us out. The equipment should help us out. Even if a unit doesn't look that good, they're getting equipment because the, the green pepper in particular seems to be, like, insanely important. My word. Dude, this cricket has done some insane stuff for us so far. That's eight. Roll me. Not necessary. We need, basically, we need better foods. Now, I would also love you to scale faster, but with God as my witness, I think a green pepper on, like, you makes the most sense. No, on you, obviously. <laughs> Whoops. Um, but hey, on the bright side, our ant's getting plus one attack as a result, so that's pretty good. Um, even though you look kind of bad, having the ability to attack twice is nice. Can I tell you something, and you might not feel the same way about this that I do? That obviously sucked. But the, the ant still would have died due to the double links, the way that it worked out there. You saw it, and I saw it. We both know it's true. Take some pizza for now. I'm actually, and, and this might be famous last words, but I'm actually pretty confident in, in the power of this team and its scaling. Not, not really its abilities, they don't do anything, but I am confident in, in how well this team is scaling right now. It's just like our last team. We may need some miracle victories, but I, I think it's got a chance. We want a green pepper on the ant as soon as possible. Yeah, unless you're over 30 HP, then you probably prefer the melon. But it's something of a, of a lateral upgrade. I'm going to buy... No, we can't even... We could buy two of those, or we could fish for a green pepper. Or, like, sure, chocolate. You don't actually need it anymore. You do. And you do. We just want to see if there's a green pepper. Because a green pepper would be the most important thing. Sans green pepper? I would rather go level 2 T-Rex. But this is, of course, assuming we live long enough. I know everything's frozen. It's hard to find the specific thing you're looking for. But we froze a lot of, like... Like, we're looking for an A+. We froze a lot of, like... Like, A-minuses. It's called hedging your bets. What, you never see the weakest link? Goodbye. The actual... The, the green pepper... Not going slightly later killed us there. But that's two nines, dude. I'm actually feeling really good. And it temporarily distracted me from the fact that I'm pretty hungry. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Click the like button if you enjoyed the episode. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you next time.